In this video, I'm going to show you how to make another custom brush like we did with the Liquify brush uh, in another video. This one is similar to the Liquify brush, but it's a smear or smudge or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's what we're going to do. And I find this brush incredibly valuable. I use it all the time, particularly when I'm painting portraits. It's the perfect brush for eyelashes. It's great for fur, hair. Um, it's fantastic. So what we're going to do is go to the Painter 2015 brushes in our Corel Painter 2016 program. We're going to go to Blenders, go all the way down and choose Soft Blender Stump. Then we're going to go up to Brushes, Copy Variant. Don't forget to copy the variant because you really don't want to mess with the original brush. We want to make a new one. Now choose where you're going to copy your variant to. For me, um, I think I chose FX on this. Uh, I tend to put a lot of my new brushes into FX. Um, so FX, then we're going to go to the FX category and find our brush, which we see is down here, Soft Blender Stump, Stump. And you can see above it the one I'd already created, but we'll go ahead with this one right now. Soft Blender Stump. Now, when you see it here, um, this is the one we're making. So go ahead and right click on it, choose rename variant and name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name this smear smudge. All right, now we go to window, brush, uh, brush control panels, general. And we're going to choose the method is plugin. And the subcategory is liquid brush, which is what we did with the other brush when we made the, um, the liquify brush. But the difference here is that we started with a blending stump brush when we made this brush. And so it will perform differently. And I'll show you what I mean by that. This is our new smear smudge brush. Ooh, fancy, right? This is our liquify brush. See how it's just pushing and manipulating the paint? Whereas our smeary smudgy brush is actually smearing and smudging. And I'll actually go back to the one I just made. And see, I'm pushing hard and going back and forth over. So you can get really quite an interesting effect. Um, so let me see the difference between the brush I had before and this one. The difference is just the grain. So you can get quite a different effect by turning the grain up and down. 